Welcome back, you don't know it's your boy Kamani Brown and today I'm going to be showing you how to copy your pictures and videos from your external storage devices which it could be your SD card or your flash drive to your iPhone, right? Now many of you may have found my channel I actually showed the opposite, copying and transferring all of your files, not just photos and videos but music, documents, anything from your iPhone to external storage devices without the need for iCloud, without the need for any other third party app or anything, right? And the key thing, of course, for older iPhones, because this is the iPhone 15 Pro Max, they actually need these two babies right here. The Lightning to SD card reader. This is it right here. Lightning to SD card reader here. And this, the Lightning to USB flash drive dongle as well. Now, these two things come in clutch for the older model iPhones that still use the Lightning port, right? However, with the iPhone 15 series, with that new USB-C port, there is no need for that. However, the principle is still the same, just less steps with this. Now, for all my older videos covering that subject, I'll leave links to those videos as well as links to these peripherals as well in the description and the pinned comment below. So check them out if you need them. However, I'll be showing you the steps of doing the inverse copying from these things here, your SD card and your flash drive to the iPhone, right? All right, people, I know we're in the phone. And with this being an iPhone 15 Pro Max, it uses a USB-C port here. I have a very fast USB 3.2 Gen 1 flash drive here with both USB-A and USB-C sides. I simply need to plug this right into the phone. No issues there. And going right into the files up here, there it is, Max 1, right? That's the name of this drive here. And we're going to be working with this folder here. The test folder is currently empty, as you can see. And that's because you're going to be doing a completely fresh dry run test here on camera. So going into my camera up here, I'm just going to take a couple of pictures right here. Don't need to be pretty. And a short video so that we have all the bases covered here. I have two different file formats here, two different kinds of media, a photo and a video, right? So we can stop that, doesn't need to be long. Both are saved in my gallery at the moment. Let's jump right back into my photo gallery here. And here they are, all a bunch of pictures and that short video. So we're going to select them. We're going to be pressing the select button right here in the top right hand corner, press select and you have two ways to select them. If it's just a couple of images, you can just do this, simply pick them one by one, or let's cancel that here. And to press the select button once again in the top right hand corner, you can tap one, and then just for the others, just drag your finger down, right? If you have many pictures and videos to copy. So let's work with that, and you're going to be pressing the share button here in the bottom right hand corner, you press that and now you're going to press save to files. Now you come back to here, the browse section of your files app, you're going to press the device, let's go to the test folder again and you can just press save. There you have it, they're all saved or backed up. Now let's go back to the files app, here they are, right? Images all in their original format. This is actually the video as you guys saw before that's it working right there And the images going right across all those bad horrible taken images Now going back to the photos app I'm going to be selecting yet again by pressing the select button in the top right hand corner I'm going to be selecting all of these and I'm going to be deleting them for this example so we can go back into the files app here and here they are in a test folder on the Max One flash drive, right? So not on a phone, well, <laughs> not in my local gallery folder, they're currently in my deleted folder. However, we're going to show you how to copy them 
from this, the external storage, yet again, it can be this, it can be this, or it can be an SSD as well, as I have shown in my previous videos. So now we're going to be pressing this mini button here, which is this circle with the three dots in it. You're going to press that. Then you're going to press select, which is right here at the top of the list. And then you can either pick them one by one or drag your finger, right? That's it. All file formats here. Now this is all pictures and a single video. It can be mixed and match. And what you're going to press next is the share button here in the bottom right hand corner. Now you can simply press save 10 items. Bam. Right? That's it. You're done. Come right back out to the files app. Go right back into your gallery. And here they are. All the pictures and that video that we took. Right? Right back where they were before. Now, that's pretty much how it works. So I showed you literally capturing these live on camera, deleting them, going back into the storage device and copying them back over or whatever, right? You guys saw it. It's, it's very easy, very simple once you know what to do. So that's it, people. I've shown you both ways in my recent videos how to copy and back up all of your files from your iPhone to an external device. And now I just showed you how to bring them back. However, for other file formats, it's pretty much the same, except you'll be doing more browsing here in the files app. If they're documents or music or audio files, you have the right here, which is on your iPhone. And of course you have your iCloud drive, right? Everything else would be, you know, manipulated right here in your files app. Right, as for your photos and the videos, you can do the same thing. However, if you want to view them in your gallery once again, I just showed you. There's also another method here that I actually forgot to mention, guys. That's why I always say stay tuned to the end. And this is another freebie here. I'm going to be deleting all of these once more. Right? Bam, they're gone. Let's go back here into the max one and the test folder. And right now, I'm just going to select a single image here, right? It's selected. It's a two-finger, two-handed kind of job here. You go back into your photos up here, and you can just let it go. Bam. That was actually the video. <laughs> that was actually the video. But you guys saw what I did it right there. Let's do it again. Let's go right back into the files up. Let's grab an image right here, right there. Bam. You can do this, go back into your photos app, release it. There it is, right there. A little tricky, requires a little bit of muscle memory, but it's fairly easy once you do it. And there they are, right? Very easy. And if you want to do it with multiple files, yet again, I'm going to be selecting everything here, straight across, um, hold it down. All of them are currently selected. Go right back to your gallery here. Release. There it is. All of them come right back. Right there. Right? That's it, guys. Two of the easiest methods of copying your media back from your external storage device back into your iPhone gallery. Right? Easy as one, two, three. As I said, for other file formats, if you have other documents or audio files, or whatever kind of files you can save just about anything on your iPhone or your iCloud. Everything is done right here in the files app, right? You have it on your iPhone right here, on the iCloud drive, and your storage devices will come right underneath it. Here's a max one right here yet again. And that's about it, people. Very simple once you know what to do. So that's it. No need to eject it. Just pull it out and you're good to go. And that's about it, people. Quick, easy, and simple. Once again, thanks for tuning in. If you have any issues, of course, hit me up in the comments below. If you have other suggestions as well, how to get this done easier, or you know any other methods you may want to suggest, let me know in the comments also, and let's just have a chat. So thanks for tuning in once again, people. If you don't know, I'll appreciate a like, subscribe, and of course, hitting that little notification bell so you know when the next video is out. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.
and take care.